So it's not even a rehabilitation. No, it's a, not for real. No, sir. It's a cage. Facts. Okay, so, all right. Now, you, you, this is why I like to have conversations, right? Because now you got me, before I even ask you any questions about what it is that you experience inside of the system, right? That brings me back to something that you said earlier in a conversation when you said um, you had to go to certain schools or whatever like that, right? But you taught yourself how to read and write. Which means that it wasn't a lack of intelligence. It wasn't that, you know what I'm saying, you was anything. It was just that maybe you didn't have the right environment. Where maybe you didn't have patient people. Maybe it's too many kids in a specific school. Maybe they just rushed you through the system. You said you taught yourself how to read and write in prison. I read my first book cover to cover in prison. Really? It was um, George Jackson, Blood of My Eyes. You seem just as intelligent, if not more, than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... I don't know what you're talking about. That was my first book. Do you feel like you gained anything from being in, in prison? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I learned about politics. You know, um, I learned about the world, bro. Like, uh, like the way I move now, like where I see myself at now. Prison did that. You know, them experiences, like having to go through everything I done been through, getting out. Them experiences, but like, man, like I ain't gonna like prison. I ain't. I know this might sound crazy when I say this, but like, I, I feel blessed to go through something like that. I'm gonna tell you why I feel blessed to go through something like that because I made it. Mm -hmm. I got guys who never made it, who would never be able to sit in this chair, you know, because they'd never get out of prison, you know, um, or they didn't got out and they didn't died and not, like I just be feeling like so blessed. Like I got a two year old son. My son, the whole blessing. My son, I'm supposed to be here. Them people gave me 39 years. I supposed to still be sitting in that cell, riding, going through hell right now. You know? Do you think that it's a lot of guys in there? I, in your honest opinion, do you think it's a lot of guys in there that actually shouldn't be there? Facts. Really? Facts. I, and, I, and, I, and that's another point to these young guys. Like they be out here trying to ride for gang, gang, and do all this and that. Yeah, they going You get locked up. They gon' they gonna talk about you about a week, two weeks on Facebook, free the homie, free the homie. That's that's all you're gonna get after that. I know guys that's sitting in prison right now doing 30, 40 years, life sentences for cases they didn't commit, all because they wanted to keep it solid with their homies. And wait, 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 wait. 30 to 40 years for keeping it real? Keeping it real. I'm for talking stuff about stuff they didn't commit. And, and they in prison fucked up. Not even a soup, not even a honey bun, like no money on the phone, like Fact, like factual shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, wait, 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 for crimes that they didn't even commit, but yeah, and shit, I, I, I got a homie right now on like real talk, like he took an armed robbery for one of his cousins. He doing like my homie doing like 28 years, he had just got out, he had just, he had wait, just wait, got wait. out. Why would he take an armed robbery for one of his cousins though? Like, it's just how this whole situation, like, how the situation played out, like. He he wasn't in there, but how it popped off, boom. When the police come, everybody gets snatched up. You know, I'm not gonna talk. You not ain't nobody really talking. So what? The police gonna do? We gonna let the police work? Okay, shit. Somebody gotta go down for this. You know what I'm saying? With the with the, with the police working, I ain't gonna snitch. You know what I'm saying? They put it on me. Shit, I, I can't snitch on my cousin, even though I know my cousin did it. And I did it or whatever. You think your cousin gonna play it solid? Oh yeah, my cousin got me in. Yeah, 26. Years. I'm about to put you on the hot seat. You ready? Go ahead. All right. What do you think about this whole no snitching thing that's happening out here? And, and let me tell you why I asked you that, right? Because me personally, I believe that a lot of what's happening in communities today, like in 2022, yeah. is based off of um, a misunderstanding of the no snitching rule. And so I'll give you an example. I'm a, I'm a civilian, right? Yeah. I don't, get, I don't do crime. I don't got homies around me that do none of that type of shit. You know right, what I'm saying? None right. of that, right? So when I see, if I look out my window, which, you know, ain't nothing happening out here. Fact. But if I look out my window and I see a dude busting into the car, the perspective in society a lot of times is, oh, I shouldn't say nothing. You got all right to do that. If that's what you want to do, you got all right to do but that. They, but see, my thing is, okay, so let me tell you what my understanding of snitching is, and then you correct me, right? My understanding of snitching is, is me and you go and do some work. We go put in work, right? Fact. I get caught, and so in order for me to get off or get a lighter sentence, I, I dime you out, right? That's snitching. That's snitching. 
my perspective of, or what society's perspective of snitching is, is if I say anything about anything that I see. And I think that that's one of the, one of the things that's actually killing communities because Man, um, as a that, civilian, I don't want my that's property that, that's value that to rapper, go down. That's that rapper shit. Then you got to think about it. Like, a lot of these young guys be trying to look up to these rappers. Bro, these rappers can't even do a fucking day in jail. How you talk about you done killed all these people as soon as you get locked up? Please get me out of here, <laughs> I can't sleep on these beds. You're like, bro, like, you was just talking about this shit. Like, you can't go and do, like, and that's what be pissing me off. Like, bro, I had to do nine and a half years and I'm like, for something I ain't even do. Like, in some of the most toughest prisons, like, bro, you can't do 10 days in a county jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, but you talking about you didn't did all this and did all that. Like, that's another thing. Like, we, we don't like, we don't like, like, all that complaining. Like, bro, you got to do it. And it's like, when I went to prison, I really couldn't complain. Like, because a lot of people but around you. But you did it and you didn't even do the crime, though. Facts. Because a lot of people around you, fuck you complaining about 39 years, bro. I got five natural life sentences. So you'll be like, damn, that little, this little time ain't shit. People used to, oh, people used to tell me crazy, that, like, bro, bro, like, bro, like, they told shit, you, you got a date. Ain't nothing. Yeah, people would be like, bro, you got a date. You know, people, I had homies who ain't had no dates. They had a lot of, we called them letter, um, letters. You know, like, God be like, shit, I got letters. That means he got, he got life. Yeah. You feel me? I got life. Like, shit, shit. People looking at me like, nigga, you got a date. Like. What about, um? okay, so, like, so when you see stuff that's happening, well, I'm, I'm going to come back to your experience because i seen one interview where you said when you came out, you didn't even know how to hold the phone, right? I'm, I'm going to get into that in a second. Um, but when you see what's happening, um, and I don't know how familiar you are with what's happening with certain rappers, right? But I see the Quando Rondos, right, in which his homie got killed, and then he's trying to denounce and say, yo, I ain't, I ain't gangbanging no more. And then the, the gang, like, nah, you can't just walk away. You know what I'm saying? Or when that you shit, see... When that you shit see, made up, man. I ain't even going to cap that shit. Um... Game banging is corny now, bro. It is. Like, it's it's corny. Like, to me, yeah. like, bro, I was a game. I game bang like, every prison yard I walked on, they know me. Name, very, like, But you didn't do it. You saying me. that you didn't necessarily do it because you wanted to do it. Yeah, it was it because... something. Yeah. And but I didn't put work, like, air, like different gang. Everybody, like, you know, like, they call me little badass, yeah. right? The youngest guy on the yard, whatever. Like as I grew up and I started maturing and all that, got to want to live. It's like it ain't it. Yeah. The the, the gang like what, what I need y'all for. Yeah. So when you see, cause see, I even understand it from young people's perspective, right? If a young person tell me, yeah, I was a part of the gang, I can understand that, right? Because they may have grew up in an environment in which that was influential to them or they didn't have a father figure or whatever, right? Yeah. The circumstances, or even in your case where you said, yo, they said you're gonna have to get down or, yeah. you know, whatever, right? When you see a lot of these, these rappers, right? And they make it yeah. and then they start embracing the gang life. That'd be the goofiest what, shit. What are you, <laughs> what It'd is be your corny. thoughts on that? It'd be corny. I ain't gonna, that'd be so, that, that's another reason why I just like, I kind of gave up on it because I feel like it was like watered down. You gotta think. I'm in prison, like in prison it's more structure, rule based, like laws, more organ. And it's like, you like your life really be on the line in there. Like it, 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 it get real, it get physical. Like I done been in gang riots, it's 30 or 40 of us fighting on the yard, they shooting a rifle, telling everybody. So it's like to come home and have people who ain't never did nothing. And nothing. You just, you, you get to looking at shit like a, like a you know, like, I got I got jumped in like I had to fight three four different guys on top of getting jumped in and just to like you can wake up just because you got a couple dollars and claim something no that ain't so that's another thing like, it's just it just played out bro.